All right, here we go. All right, so it's January 17th, 2010. I'm Barbara Blake, and I'm talking to Mr. Prentice Bryant at the Piggly Wiggly in Beaufort. So, Prentice, um, please, uh, if you would, tell me how you first got involved at the Fish Factory. Um, I should have stayed in school. You should have stayed in school? <laughs> should have stayed in school. <laughs> So my pop said, well, you got to do something, being you're out of school now. Did you quit high school? No, no. I, I went to high school, graduated. I went to college for two years. Well? And it was time to try to get some money. I was tired of being broke. What, what college did you go to? Uh, Chowan College. Did you? Yeah, from That's Memphis right. Belt, Yeah. Which major in? Uh, sports medicine. Really? Yeah. So, Good for you. And so after sport, a degree in sports medicine, you I, decided to work at the fish factory. It was time to make some money. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> was, uh, Chihuahua was a small college then. It was a two-year institution. And during those times, it was rough. with no jobs around there. It was a small place. And, right. And my dad uh, brought me down there in 1987. And that's where everything started. And Learned tell us there. your father's name. Uh, William Bryant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's yeah. very well known. He's very well known, yeah. And Very well known. <laughs> did he teach you everything that you knew? He taught me everything I know. Uh huh. So tell us then, what was what was your specific job at the fish factory? Uh, work in the oil room. In the oil room. Yeah. Okay. And so, what, is that called being the oil man, or is yeah, there a name yeah. for that? Yeah, you're the oil man. Yeah. Yeah, you're the oil man. That's what and, you are. And that's what your father did, right? That's what my father did. Okay. I've been 45, 50 years. Yeah. So tell me about what, what did you do? Um, basically, we um, kept the machines up to par, uh -huh. called the old machines. Yeah. It wasn't like the rest of the plants. That was a good thing about it, because we had to make it work. <laughs> so, um, our oil was the best oil most of the time on the coast, most of the time. Yeah. yeah 99% most that, of the time. That's what I heard, and I yeah. heard a lot of oh, yeah. that was because of your father. Oh, yeah. That's hands-on stuff, yeah. How did he do that? How did he know... Half of the things that I saw back there, I was amazed myself. Mm -hmm. um, he pretty much kept on top of things. Never let nothing get dirty. Gets dirty, he, he gets right down there, hands on, and gets it off. So what, what, what was the machine called? Um, let's see. We called that a purifier. A purifier? Yeah. Is that that picture I have of you? Um, Where are yeah, you? Yeah, that's, that's, that's one of them, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so you had the purifier, and the oil was... Be pressed out of the fish. All is coming, yeah, coming, coming through the presses. Goes down into a, a little old galley where the water has been, you know, saved uh -huh. until I can get it over there and get it heated. Okay. Uh, yeah, that would be my oil machine. That's the oil machine. Yeah, that's my oil machine. Real far would be back over there. Th those are my discs for those. Uh huh. Uh, it's back over there in the back though. There, I had two of those. Okay. Right. And. Uh, it pretty much kept me busy. I mean, it was hands-on most of the time. What is this um, machine right here called again? It's the oil machine. Oil machine. Why does it have that rim around it? Um, once you, because that top right there, uh -huh. it fits on there. Oh, it does? Okay, and then you got your, your water, which is a, a flow from up top. Right. So it's a steady flow most of the time that you can control. Uh-huh. And um, that top goes on with your disc in there. Uh-huh. And... The miracle happens on the inside here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in that picture? Um, I think I'm changing a shaft. Oh, okay. The shaft right there? Yeah. It goes down. It's hooked onto some um, some wheels. Right. Which makes it makes everything turn and to a certain speed, so, so many RPMs. Mm -hmm. And that's how you, if you're not up to RPMs, you're all not going to be right. So oh, okay. that's basically what's happening there. So is that something you have to constantly monitor? Yeah, you definitely have to stay on top of that. Being it was old equipment and all, you definitely have to stay on top of it, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. And how many hours would you work at a stretch? Oh. Um, on a given week, probably um, 60 hours overtime, maybe. 60 hours a week? Overtime. Overtime? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, oh I've, I've been down there, and we got every hour on the hour. Really? Yeah. Would you sleep? Yeah, we, yeah, we would take breaks. Yeah, we would take breaks. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we, we've got the whole 60, 168 one time, a oh couple gosh. of times. Yeah. So um, that was good money, wasn't it? That was it? good money, no doubt about it. For overtime, did you get time and a half? Time and a half. Now that's where it adds up. Yeah, that's where it adds up. But I started like from 335. Just what year was that? 
1987. 87. 87. 335. Wow. See, but all those hours, I didn't even think about that because. Right. Was it always minimum wage? The Back period? then, yeah, not to the end, no, because I, I started, yeah, actually making money then. Good. Yeah. yeah. Ended up thirteen fifty. Oh, yeah. It's not too bad, not especially too bad. with not time bad, and a half. Not too bad, especially with time and a half. Yeah. Six that's hours cool. overtime, yeah, that's that's kind of. Did yeah. your father probably made more than you because he had been there longer? Well, actually, I got that after he left. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever work with him? Yeah, I worked with him. From, yeah, just six eighty seven till two thousand. Did you enjoy working? With uh, I enjoyed, yeah, because he was he was hands on. He didn't tell me anything, but he just showed me. It was the weirdest thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> he didn't know how to tell me, so he showed me. Right. So I, I basically took off like that. Yeah. So I heard that your father got hurt one time. Yeah, he got hurt. Real what happened? Yeah, real what bad. happened? Um, long. It was a long, long two weeks for sure. We were up most of the time, um, keeping stuff clean, making sure we all stayed to par. And um, I think we had some fresh caustic down in the caustic tank. Caustic? Is that acid? Yeah, that's like acid, yeah. yeah. But it's in flakes, and you have to add it to water to, to heat it up to make it work. Right. And I think the water was already hot. I mean, th that's my theory. Yeah. I think the water was already hot. When you add it to it, it just it came up. I think it came up out, tried to come up out of it. I've seen it done. It, it comes, it'll come up out of it. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So you think he was tired after oh, yeah, two yeah, weeks? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, yeah. Just definitely. made a little slip. Oh, yeah, because I was too. Yeah, that's all it takes. Yeah. That's all it takes. That's actually all it takes. And so it, did it explode? I wouldn't say exploded. It'd be more or less. If you add that, the flakes to that hot water, it's, it's going to, that's how it's going to react. It's going to, yeah, it's going to come up in there. So what happened to him? Um, the stuff ended up going on him. Uh, were you there? Yeah. I, he just sent me to bed. Really? Yeah, he just sent me to bed. To the bunkhouse? To the bunkhouse, yeah. Did they wake you up? A couple of hours later, yeah, they come in there and say, but he was walking around like nothing went wrong. Oh, my gosh. He was that just walking around. Just terrible. Came in, got out of his clothes. And the stuff was just running right on out of his shoes and everything else. Was, oh, yeah, it was, it was terrible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then he had to go to the burn center? Oh, yeah, he had to stay at the burn center. How All the time. Ooh. Probably well, that happened before Thanksgiving, I think. So that was, I think, Christmas, maybe. He was, maybe Christmas, I think, he was back home. Yeah. And did he ever go back to work after that? No. Yeah. Oh, he wanted to. He wanted to? Oh, yeah, my mom, he, he, she, she'd kill him. <laughs> ah, she'd kill him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but he was he was more worried. He was just like he was down there, of course. He was getting all the information from me. You know? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it was hard for him to retire. Oh, yeah, it was. He, he was not ready for that. Yeah. He, he would speak of retirement every year. Uh, he would, so how old was he when he stopped? Good Lord, he probably was uh, 74, maybe. Two, four. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah they, were, they were definitely up there. Right. Yeah, it was, it's pretty close to that. Yeah. yeah it's pretty close. Hey, you get them, you get pictures. These are from Nadine. Check them out. Nadine, I just, Nadine took those. I just, I, I, I just oh, talked Nadine. to Nadine two weeks ago. I talked to Nadine up yeah. in, in, in yeah, the first spot. Okay. I don't want to hear you got them. Yeah. Yeah, she's helping me with this project. Right. Yeah, I talked to her two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's good. So, so when she good. walked through the door, I was like, now I know you from somewhere. She's like, get that you do? A, 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 a pudding? Yeah, that's what she calls it. A pudding. <laughs> like, pudding? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> there was some good times around that day. Some Did good you times. work right up until the factory shut down? I worked up until the factory shut down. Did you see that coming? I kind of saw it coming years before that. Yeah. You know, all these. Basically, the, the sports fishing, I think, had a lot to do with it. Yeah. A whole lot to do with it. So, you know, just too much money to, you know, I guess, turn down for them. You know. They didn't want those boats out there when they were uh, doing all this sports, blue marlin fishing and all this stuff. Right, so, yeah, so it's some bad politics. Right, bad politics, yeah. Bas basically. Yeah. Have you ever thought about working up at the um, Virginia factory? Yes, I'm putting an application tomorrow. Oh, you are? <laughs> yeah, I just filled it out last night, yeah. Well, you yeah. have a good job at Hobblog, don't you? Um, I would say good job, but just steady. Yeah. Everything's steady. And, uh, I haven't complaints with my boss, man, because he's, he's cool with me. Yeah. yeah. He looks out for me when I need but to. But you missed that, that oil I work? I definitely missed that oil work, yeah. Hands on. Yeah. yeah. I went to 
want to ask you, um, everybody said that your father could tell by the feel of the oil, is that right? Feel and the, the, just the look of it. Yeah. The, uh, Did you ever taste it? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, sure we have. I mean, yeah, yeah. so how do you know it was just right? Um, I learned from them where if you could put your hand on the pipe, uh -huh. but, but you got to take it off, it's, it's definitely too hot. Oh, okay. <laughs> so if you're going to grab the pipe and, and hold your hand on there just for a few seconds without letting it, okay. that little stuff, yeah. But if it burned you pretty fast, it was yeah, too you, hot? Yeah, you need to go and cut your heat down. Okay. Yeah, the steam and all. And did you, you must have known um, Zeke Merle and Oh, Ernest. yeah. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. and they were, they were legends they're, they're down legends. there. They were legends. They were legends. They, 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 they ran the spot. Those guys pretty much ran that spot. Did you ever work with them, too? I, um, I worked with Zeke a, few, a lot of times, sitting up there. I'd come and stay with him all night long anyway, being yeah. next door to each other. Right. So I'd go up there and everything going, everything all right. What was it like in that factory when everything was cranking in the middle of the night? Late night, yeah. It's, it's like... It's happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's happening. And they yeah. said that Zeke and them, they, they can t tell by the feel. Yeah, they just grab the stuff and just, if it flakes up and it's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. Because that way the, the dryer man doesn't have to burn the dryer up to, to work all night long, you know. Right, yeah. right. Gosh. So those guys, they pretty much know what they were doing. Yeah. Hands-on stuff. It wasn't yeah. something that was technology. It was actually, you had to put your hands on it to make it work. Right. So in the factory, you either worked with the scrap or you worked with the oil? Oil. Most and of the time, I was the oil. Or you were the baler, you know, just the whole processing, getting the fish through the factory. I, I do a little bit of all of it just Did to help, help help things out. What was your very favorite? I was in the oil room. I was an oil room man. Yeah. yeah. That was the big money was that. The big right. money was in there. Really? It paid off all the big guys. Oh, yeah, really? that paid off all the big guys. Yeah. Why was the money good in the oil room? Is it so important? It's so important, yeah. 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 Especially like in September when the uh, hairy bags come. Yeah. Those small hairy bags. Uh -huh. So when we get those, we work like those 168 hours. Yeah. <laughs> we can't we can hardly. You know. So, do you, um, you never mind the smell of the factory or anything? No, nah, you kind of get used to it. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, until you get home, you'll be like, darn, man, good yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah, are you married? Yeah. I'm not married. Oh, okay. No, no, not married. Got two kids, got two kids. Are you? So, yeah, 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 yeah. Teenagers, yeah. Um, so, yeah, because I just wonder, you know, coming home and bringing the smell of your Oh, yeah, you, know. you, you hear it. I mean, yeah, um, I definitely hear it, for sure. What happened when the factory closed to Harlow and Craven Corner? I mean, wasn't that I'm, a good source of employment? For the community and yeah. all? Oh, yes, indeed. Yeah, definitely. So what's Guys, everybody doing now? Some are off on, on to other plants, and yeah. you know, everybody else is just is going along. Yeah. 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 Definitely was a good source. Yeah. Definitely was a good source of the community. Helped everybody out. What year were you born? I was born in 67. 67. And so you think, you're, you think your children will be in the industry? Do you have any sons? I doubt it. Yeah. I very much doubt that. <laughs> right. I very much doubt it. Yeah. yeah I, doubt, I doubt that very seriously. Yeah. Okay. Well, anything else you want to add, Prentice? Yeah, uh, everybody kind of misses this place. Everybody I run into that works used to work there, they the first thing they bring up, they they miss that spot. You know? Everybody's still talking about Everybody's it. Everybody's still talking about it, just like it's still there. Do you, do you ever dream about it? <laughs> sure, yeah. It, we, we talk about it all the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Had a lot of good times down there. Met well, a lot of good people. I imagine you'll have um, good luck applying at this other factory with all your experience. I, I, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. I hope that kind of kicks in anyway. Well, that's all I have. Yeah, indeed. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Clinton. Indeed.